Hi, welcome to our video 0 0.12 density. So density, this should be review because I know for certain there's density on the 8th grade exam, which you should have all taken. However, we're going to review. So density is the amount of mass in a given space. It really has to do with how tightly packed the particles are. So if we have our particle diagram, but now we actually talk about how close they are together, which is more dense? Well, the one that's more tightly packed is more dense. Ma mathematically speaking, it's a ratio of mass to volume. And the formula is on table T. And here, density. Density is mass over volume. And D is density. M is mass. V is volume. Now, if you don't know, I'll show you in school again, but if you don't know, uh, the density triangle can be very useful. Just remember to write it in the triangle, the density triangle, the way it's written here, D, M, V. Okay, so density, if I cover it up, is mass over volume. Let's say I have to do something later on where I have to calculate the mass when I'm given a density and a volume. Well, I cover the mass, and mass is equal to density times volume. If I'm given if I have to calculate the volume, given a mass and a density, I cover the volume, and volume is mass over density. Okay, But the basic formula, D equals M over V, is here in table T. Now, a number without a unit is meaningless, so it's always important to remember to put down the units. And the units for density is grams per milliliter or grams per cubic centimeter. They mean the exact same thing, but usually we use this with a liquid, and we usually use this with a solid. Let's do an example. What is the density of an object with a mass of 60 grams and a volume of 2 cubic centimeters? Well, first thing I always have to do, write out the formula, D equals M over V. And I write here, D equals M equals V equals. What is the density? So the density is what I'm trying to find out. It's my question mark. The mass of 60 grams. 60 grams. I write it with the units. A volume of 2 cubic centimeters. 2 cubic centimeters. So I'm trying to find the density. Well, the density is equal to mass, 60 grams, over volume, 2 cubic centimeters. 60 divided by 2 is 30. Grams divided by cm cubed is grams over cm cubed. And I say, is this a unit of density? Yes. So I probably set it up right. Well, that's me, so I set it up right. Uh, so I get an answer of 30 grams per cubic centimeters. We will, of course, practice a whole lot more of these in school. But for you, for now, it's question time. All right, so look at the boxes. Answer this. Here, if you have a gold brick that is 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters by 4 centimeters and has a mass of 48 grams, what is density? So D equals M over V. D equals M equals V equals. Well, density, what is the density? That's what I'm trying to find. Mass is 48 grams. 48.0 grams. I just ran out of room here. Volume. Well, I'm not given the volume. However, I do know from math and science that volume equals length times width times height. Right? You have to do this in the 8th grade science exam. So 2 times 3 times 4 is equal to 24 cubic centimeters. So my volume is going to be 24 cubic centimeters. Alright, so here, what is the volume? Remember, if I use my density triangle, which I could draw, volume is mass over density. Mass, what is the mass? Density times volume. And something to think about. Give them a try, and I'll check your answers, or maybe a pop quiz. Don't forget, that's always a possibility. That's cool tomorrow. All right, that brings us to the end. I'll see you guys in school.